slash marker sap so that I could say thank you, Daniel, for the raid right there in, in the YouTube video. So you could double down. Look at that. How many times has the Isaac Daly been mentioned? It's the first time hearing about it. What is there, some kind of special event today? Some kind of marketing blitz? Wow, what a guy. What a guy. Hey, hey listen. Hero is not a word we use lightly. You know, we don't just say anybody is a hero. We reserve that for people who had 356 output on a 30-minute Sam Yo 80s ride today. We're going to play some Super Auto Pets. I love this weekly. Now, this is, I, I would love to see some cockroaches in my early shop, but this is still pretty good. Let's send it. Mmm, I'll be an attractive bush. How about that? You see him sometimes when you're walking around. Why no power zone? Because I'm scared of the the power zone uh, benchmark test, which is just 20 minutes of like increasingly difficult pedaling until your heart explodes, right? That's kind of like my, my 2023 goal is to start doing the power zone training. But I haven't really plateaued yet. Like, I mean, like, I haven't, uh, I haven't really cr increased my output to crazy levels recently, but I also, you know, we had some setbacks this year. <laughs> I'm not sure if you, <laughs> if you need me to go through the simultaneous uh, Salmonella Campylobacter stuff again, but we're, we're, we've made it past that and now we're starting to climb again. But that, that did kind of keep us in the, it, it put us in a rut for like a couple of months. Okay, let me get the level. <clears throat> I disrespected. I disrespected mightily. Um, I would say I respect it for now. Why don't you take a croissant to stay pogged? And you know what, um, I'm gonna, you know, we don't really need the bacon as much as we need a level. Don't really think we need, I understand broccoli then combine, I just think it's a little overrated, no disrespect. Freeze the meat and pop it, and now we got two level two mosquitoes which can then combine to a level three mosquito. Level three mosquito, not necessarily that good, however, Two levels to get us one of those like top tier units actually potentially pretty important. I low key miss the food poisoning arc. Okay, um, Jeffrey Dahmer. Dude got kicked out of the bar for dressing up as Jeffrey Dahmer for Halloween. Come to find out, bro, just look like that. For example, such as. Okay, Th these two losses, I accept these. Got him, got him. Nice rerun. It's not a rerun, it's a callback. It's two different things, okay? I mean, this is like it, it, level city over here. Let me get... <laughs> we buy the mantis first so we get the space on the level up. I'm gonna buy you... Probably kill the snail, because we can. Let me get one more level. Penguin. This is actually like a tough choice, okay? Because the deer goes hard, but it's very hard to place it with a mantis. The penguin does not go hard, but we have kind of like a really good squad for scaling it right now. So I think we'll go penguin. It would be very nice to not lose this one. Penguin is just a giraffe? Yeah, a giraffe that shows up later and does, like, almost the same and also forces you to be, like, unable to sell your worst units that just happen to be, like, the highest leveled up. And, like, it, it has some... <clears throat> there's some nuance to the, to the penguin, okay? Why not save the deer? It's hard to place it with a, with a mantis on the squad. I don't like running back mantis as, like, as, I, as much as I like running front mantis. So where do you put the deer? If you put it here, it gets killed turn one. Then what do you do? Where else does it go? You put it here, you're killing two things. You move it to the back, just have it kill the deer. Okay, listen, no disrespect. I shouldn't have read your comment in the first place. I thought you were... Uh, when you said, why not put the deer there? I thought that my brain did you a favor and thought that you were an authoritative source on Super Auto Pet strategy, but you're actually just a guy, which is fine. I think that that describes most of us. 
I'm just, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to say we're not the same, okay? I'm doing some matrix multiplication here. Just relax. <clears throat> I would kill an ant. There's a mean bone in my body. It's connected to the problem, and listen carefully, that I won't take for an answer. It's a very strong deer. I have to acknowledge the strength of this deer. Wait a minute. No, I don't. No, I don't. Correct. That is, that is a reference to BTS. My BTS. Built to spill. I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that the original BTS is... Uh, three middle-aged men with male pattern baldness from Lincoln, Nebraska. I don't know what, um, where they're from. They just, Built to Spill strikes me as a band that doesn't come from a cool city. They strike me as a band that was cultivated in a place where there wasn't that much going on. The most, the most psychotic music is made by normal looking guys from the Midwest. They're from Twin Falls, Idaho. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? So Dragonfly goes, but we have to kill something. So you probably just kill the penguin or sell it and kill something that gets a benefit on kill. I would, I would just go straight into this bad boy right here. And then I would go straight into this bad boy right here. I would freeze this. We want to get this mantis popping as soon as possible. Not interested. Not interested. Quality stream title? I forgot what it is. Oh, it's a it's a peep show reference. That's what it is. I am the Lord of the Bus, said he. Help me. Help me. Dude, we're pogging here. Okay. Sock it to them. Roll it. The thing is, like, we, we could easily kill you. We could kill you, we wouldn't even sweat it. Do I want a 2-1 on one of these units, though? Or do I want to kill a spider and get a tier 3 and then sell it for a gold? I want to get a 2-1 benefit. Where's Jesus be ballin'? Um... I don't think I ever enabled it. Now that I think... If you're gonna force my hand on that one, I don't know that I ever enabled Jesus be ballin'. Just being straight up with you. It's a great emote, or as I like to call them, emojis. It's a great, it's a great one. I, I use it all the time in Chibs Chat. When somebody else uses it first and then I'm reminded of its existence. Um, I mean, of the two, why don't you give me this one first? You might as well. Although Shark goes insane here. I think I would be willing to sell. I have to think about it. I have to think about it for a second. Either the ant goes or the dragonfly goes. If we sell the ant, we're, we are nerfing the dragonfly a little bit, but we're still getting two buffs. If we sell the ant, we're losing a 13-8 that provides us with a benefit. I'll be straight up with you. I think you sell the dragonfly. Everything I've done this week tells me that this is a weekly that is themed around... If, if you get Mantis Shark scaling, you send it. That's what's worked for me so far. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Why no double kill? Um... Some of us are made of money. <laughs> Dan Giesling ignored. Hold on, hold on. Dan Giesling scrolling up. Slash user. Dan Giesling slash you. I'm leaving my computer on with Ryan Gary's stream to soak up channel points. Have a good one. Okay, you're you're what enjoy. We support this. I'm going to be real with you. Armadillo's like a little under a little overrated as a killer. I almost feel like we could just kill this ant and not worry about a level 3 ant. Hold on, there's another message, okay? Slash user Dan Giesling. 
No BM, the Isaac Daly is really good. I'd put it on the recommendation you gave me to play Marvel Snap. Oh, you mean uh, the recommendation I, I sent to you on Discord um, nine days ago and received no reply on? Is that the one you're talking about? When I, when I left, I put my heart and soul on the line and wrote, uh, and I quote, Dan, honestly, you might be in the Marvel Snap on Steam. It's a deck builder, but the decks are 12 cards and games are three minutes long, so no DAE. Plus, there's a bluffing aspect pause champ. Wait, did I not? No, I didn't give a lemon to anybody. Nine days later. I was not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored. I'm so, this is, this is how I lose. Okay, hold on. This, this could be good. Dude, I think this team could go the distance. I actually really like this weekly. Oh, man. No, this Blowfish team is too strong. Too strong for me, Traveler. Wait a minute. Or is it? The rest of their team is pure garbage. We might be totally fine. <clears throat> no disrespect with the pure garbage comment, of course. I meant it in like a, a nice way. Um, I feel like um, this weekly, it, it's a, a, you guys like Robert Frost? He's one of my favorite um, poets that I read about in seventh grade. He has a famous poem, Two Roads Diverged in a Yellow Wood. That's basically this Sap Weekly. It's a very frosty and Sap Weekly. Around tier three, tier four, you decide. Are you a scaler or are you a sniper? In my experience, both of them can work. We've decided to go scaling. Robert Frost's famous quote, good fences make good neighbors. Honestly, that's... Uh, I think there's a lot of truth to that. I'm inclined to say, hell yeah, brother. Sniper is always more fun. Yeah, but like, you don't always get it in the shop. I wish you could. Mantis? Hey, this guy, look, look at how fast he's leveling. We don't, need a, we don't need to spend six gold just to make him hit the stat cap uh, two turns earlier so we get yelled at because he hey, don't have the Mantis kill anything. It's capped. We can't stop it from killing anything, but it's capped. Just, you got to have some patience here. This is your 60-40 portfolio, okay? This is your Kathy Wood psychotic investment, okay? Now. I would prefer, with a level 2 shark, I would prefer to kill the ant and just have the orca kind of like exist. Stegosaurus ain't all that or, or even close to a bag of potato chips. And you know, we'll freeze it as a just in case me. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling solid. I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling tight. I'm feeling like this kangaroo is its the biggest kangaroo I've ever seen. One of the finest kangaroo mines I've ever known. And I'm realizing we're going to we're gonna destroy this team. It's not even going to be close. You stand no chance. The mantis shark combo is out of control. Beautiful. You can take this. Unfreeze this. We're going to put a one-up on whatever we buy. And it could be the armadillo. Honestly, as good as the armadillo is, and it's not that good, but like one HP for everybody's okay. Ah, it's true. You could just one-up an orca. But I do kind of like croc... Ah, no. I think you just toss crocodile for the snipe. And then, yeah, one-up orca makes a lot more sense. Now, you got me on that one. You got me on that one for sure. Um, a scorpion. That's a little nasty with it. That's a little nasty with it. The thing about it, and honestly, even still, we're, we're going to win. Look at that. The eagle spawn is not even close. It's like the easiest 10 piece of my entire life. And that's why you don't kill two things with the mantis. We went on like an, an eight win streak. No sweat. Choose prediction. That's 10 right out of the gate. I'm not saying we're going to get 10 every time, okay? That's in, if, it, honestly, it's kind of a curse to get 10 wins straight out of the gate because now people will be like, the, the weighted average of the bets is going to become like so much closer to 10 in the future. And then people are, it, it's just, well, actually, this is a really good start, but it just primes people for disappointment anyway. <clears throat> Let me be an exported fossil. Catch me at the Hobby Lobby importing uh, 
stolen artifacts from other countries. Hypothetically! Hypothetically! Let me think here. Give me a moth. Give me a cockroach for one round. Freeze me a decent food. I would honestly, I, I, I mean, there's like, there's some tripling up to be done here. I think I would do this. Add a moth, freeze a fish. We don't need to go in on the fish yet, but it would be nice. It would be nice. Look at this. It's beautiful. Do you like underground hip hop like Bus Driver? I've I listened to some Bus Driver um, in my burgeoning snob days. I'll tell you, I, f I forget was it the he has an album called Casting Agents and Cowgirls that I really enjoyed in like 2007, and then his follow up album. I remember that um, his uh, he he had a song where he just like rapped to the same melody of like Mozart for five minutes, and I was like, this shit is like corny as hell i couldn't i couldn't get it into it i almost like and it's not fair as a to, to write off an artist because of like one song but i just remember listening to it and like the the 100 times that i spun the last album all evaporated i was like what is this guy doing and maybe i maybe it deserves a second listen but uh but that train has sailed Okay, I gotta be, I gotta be very careful about blowfish, okay? The thing with blowfish is I always, in my head, I'm like, you buy blowfish and then just give it a ton of broccoli and then I end up with a, um, like a 121 blowfish that just gets rolled. So I think you, you take a blowfish and you try to buff both of its stats if possible instead of just broccoli and then you got a, you got a good chance. I'm gonna buy you, and I, I trust you. I still trust you. You know what, for now, why don't, why don't we put our money where our mouth is? That's true, we do have, a, we do have moths. Moths cannot hit the kangaroo. Hit, oh, there's no hitting to be done. We still win. Barely though, barely. Yo, NL, do you go thrifting for your attire? What the hell? I can't tell. Is that, a, is that an insult? I, I, I worked at a Goodwill once. Also, how funny is it that... And it's sorry, it's immediately hockey-pilled. But how funny is it that... Um, and the answer might be not very. How funny is it that the Arizona Coyotes jersey sponsor is Goodwill? That's very funny. The franchise that's that currently doesn't even have an arena, so they're borrowing a college arena to play hockey in front of 4,000 people is also sponsored by a company where, you know, you donate, like, old long johns to them, and then they... Anyway... I, I've never, my mom's really into thrifting. I've never been into thrifting. I, I can live with this, I suppose. But I'm like really not into thrifting. Let's try this now, now that we got this level two mod. Ever since um, like the internet has come to pass, it feels like thrift shops are like a losing game. And I don't know, it, like as someone who doesn't, thrift that might fall on deaf ears and that's fair but like there's there's no way you can get deals anymore right like if somebody works at goodwill don't they just like have an ebay window open all the time and then if something comes in that looks like it could be valuable they just type it into ebay and they're like holy cow we were gonna put this this album up for like three bucks but actually it's worth like 250 then you end up going into Value Village and you're like, what the hell? There's like a Velvet Underground and Nico album in a glass case. Like, why is there a glass case at Value Village? Doesn't make any sense. Rare minus two. 
I mean, this isn't. People are saying Vancouver problem. I don't know if I've ever stepped foot inside of a Vancouver thrift shop. Oh, we need we need to take a frigate bird. What am I thinking? What are they thinking? Um, I'm more so like this is from. I think it's called Grift Shop R slash Grift Shop or something. That's like, hey, it's it's photos from insane goodwills, mostly in the United States, that are like, hey, check it out. $75 for an old keyboard makes a lot of sense. But Thrift Grift, that's it. Thank you. Thrift Grift. Sock it to me. Okay. I like it. I don't like it. Maybe I like it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Two broccolis with, a, with two moths. Maybe I take it. Hey, Anel, I'm making Thai lettuce wraps for dinner tonight. Any advice? You got to have the crunchy uh, chow mein noodles. That's my advice to you. If you don't have the crunchy chow mein noodles, don't even bother. And I would also recommend some peanuts. That's my advice. Brock me. Little darling, back me, back me just a little while. You know, oh, I probably, well, you know what? Maybe we can pivot to full sniper team because we can sell our cockroaches not doing that much anymore. Please, thank you. Uh, Dolphin, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You've, d you've done a lot for me here. <clears throat> Do you think God of War Ragnarok is a real 10 out of 10 or a Reddit 10 out of 10? Um, a lot of people would tell you it would be irresponsible to assume you know more than the critics who have actually played the game. A lot of people would say that's um, a, a losing game. Critics who have spent 100 hours with it over the past three weeks versus a guy who hasn't even seen a trailer. But here's the thing. I'm that guy, so I trust myself. I don't know. I bet. I mean, I feel like if you're... Why am I even saying this? Who cares? I'm just realizing, like, what I was going to say was, I bet it's really good if you're into the classic, you know, first party Sony, story driven, third person action game. But I don't know that. I haven't played it. Who cares? Now, I'm not saying who cares to the question. I'm not trying to insult you specifically. I'm, I'm nipping my own... Uh, temptation in the bud in order to like you know why am I feeling so self-important that I feel like I can answer your question you know what I mean I'm so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit you with an I don't know on that one because how could I there's no shot here is there there was close to a shot what are we at? We're at five wins already. Okay, I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> the run is okay. Honestly, this penguin is sort of like pissing me off a little bit. You're doing four damage every time you get hit. I really, I'm, you know, like, I, 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 I literally called out what not to do, and here I go doing it. I honestly think you dump the penguin next round and add a crocodile and try to like snipe your way to seven wins or something. I, I mean, obviously if we could snipe our way to more than seven wins, that'd be pretty pog too, but like, I don't have that kind of control. <laughs> yes? Sell. I'm going to go yes. I'm going to keep you frozen. I'm going to buff our blowfish a little bit more. Uh, very nice. Maybe this goes hard on somebody. I don't know who yet, but I'm not going to re-roll it. I suppose we should have kept pineapple for a lynx. That's true, but whatever. I feel better about this. I feel better about this team. Don't take my pineapple! I need that! That's the only thing making me be like not ass. No, never mind. We're fine. What did I tell you? Seven? Seven? Maybe we'll try going for eight now. Do I hear eight? 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 We shouldn't have frozen this. It was an error. That's fine. That's fine. 
That's fine. Although we're gonna no, we're really gonna start to run up against some strong teams. This team is stronger than I am. We killed like half the squad. It's just unfortunate the other half is like really good. <laughs> Can I get eight? Can I get a sniper eight? Okay, this helps our links out at least. Why don't you take a small buff? And then that's that's probably the best thing we could have asked for. We could maybe next turn sell a lynx, run a tiger with a pineapple, hope to get another pineapple or another ti uh, another crocodile. I should say, what am I talking about? Tiger with pineapple. You know what I mean. I meant crocodile with pineapple. Hold on, hold on. This this seems like we probably still lose. The squad seems the the no. We draw. We draw. Okay, 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 okay. Hold it together. The blowfish is never getting to level three. As much as I wish that it could, it's not happening. We're gonna sell the lynx. Tiger crocodile, pray for a crocodile. Tiger is also good. Okay, we didn't get what we're looking for, but there might be a chance. Might be a chance. No, I would say probably no shot on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and say no shot. Although, wait a minute. No, no shot. <laughs> but it was... <laughs> it was a very fun start to the fight. It ended in one attack. But hey, seven. That was a good seven. I'm not a... I, I gotta realize... I mean, Blowfish to seven is not so bad. But Blowfish is not actually... Originally this weekly, I thought Blowfish was like the bee's knees. But I think it's just... It's just okay. Maybe an ironic ice cube. I never get ice in my in my drinks, man. You know why? Because it makes it um, makes it more annoying to drink, especially without a, a straw. If you got a straw, maybe it's not so bad. Otherwise, miss me with that. I'll take an ant. I'll take a second ant. I'll add one of these. I'm feeling pretty strong right here. Also, I, I, sometimes people will say like, well, what about like, aren't you worried your drink's gonna get warm? Has, has never been a problem for me, my brother. Has never been a problem. The drink is the first part of the McDonald's combo to be gone. Now this is like one of the worst levels you could possibly get. Some people are putting ice in their milk. <laughs> but you know what's crazy is that like... Like why is that bad? Like I agree that like it... it the pattern recognition part of my brain is like obviously that's something that you don't do. But like why on like a, on, an, on an objective level is ice in the milk bad? It waters it down? This shit is, like, already water. Like, what per... <laughs> okay, this, this sentence might sound a little crazy. What percentage of milk is actually milk? And what percentage of milk is water? Like, 2% milk is 2% milk fat. That doesn't mean it's 2% milk, 98% water. But, like, what... If you took all of the H2O molecules out of milk, what would be left? By weight. Condensed milk. Yeah, but like what, you know what I'm asking. You're being, you're being glib, Matt. When I say what would be left, I mean what quantity? I'm asking, I mean, I think it's a fairly sensible question. Or at least, maybe it's the most insane question of all time, but at least I'm making my terms clear. What percentage, whole cow's milk is around 87% water. Okay, then people are like, ooh, I threw an, you threw an ice cube in your milk? and made it 89% water? That's disgusting! You should be in prison! And then people aren't drinking whole milk anyway. They're drinking like, the most common milk's gotta be 2%, at least in North America. Like, and I feel like I have a serious high ground here because um, I don't drink milk at all. 
I just think the concept of milk is, well, A, I don't like the taste, and then B, I think, like, conceptually, it's just kind of disgusting. But um, it, it is funny watching you milk drinkers be like, milk's great. Oh, an ice cube? A little water in my 87% water and cow-derived lactose slurry? Ew! Like, get a clue. Anyway, what, how about one of these? <laughs> One day you'll be a level two, so why don't you just keep pogging? And we'll get a level at some point. That's a strong frilled dragon. That's a stronger frilled dragon than I'd like to see. The rest of your squad kind of anus though. A little anus with it. You'd love to see it. Ice water or room temperature water? I don't really care. I'll I'll just take it. Um, ice water or room temperature water? Um, yes, please. <laughs> oh, that's a good pivot. That's a good. That's a good one. Why don't you take some of that too? Okay, we get our level next time. I'm telling you, I got a certain. This weekly just fits in my brain somehow. I don't know. I'm, and again, I'm not guaranteeing a victory. I think that's unreasonable. I'm just saying. For some reason, I kind of, I'm feeling myself this week. Uh, not this time, though. Do get it twisted. Do you drink whole water? Well, are you asking me, do I dilute my water with ice? Because the answer to that is definitely no. I would never. I'm going to add a shark and try to pivot this, the squad to a shark squad. If we can do such a thing. I don't know if there's really space for a lynx. Okay. Okay. So we're kind of, we're, we're hoping to survive long enough to get like a summon build going. How dare you kill me? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. This is a loss for certain. <clears throat> we're pretty close though. Lemon would be nice. Maybe we're actually going to lose. Um, I haven't decided yet. No reason to buff you. Every reason to buff you. This is very necessary next round. So let's take a second to plan. We should kill our kangaroo next. We should probably sell dolphin, kill kangaroo. Mantis can stay around for ballast. So we want to get something like this going. Bro's out here saying, too late for Mantis. Meanwhile, I'm getting my ass kicked by a Mantis. You, you, are you listening to yourself? Are you crazy? I just walked over here. You can do this? You can do this. You can't do this. You got close, though. You, oh, you can do it! Let's go! Saved. Sell me? Kill me, truly, madly, deeply do. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to fish for a, a lemon. None lemon with left beef. Okay, I'm going to accept garlic. I'm going to... Have you heard about the Lord and Savior garlic? Middle mantis? You've actually lost your mind. Okay, well, this squad is just better than ours. <laughs> we're, we're already dead. <laughs> Okay, you're a 10-10. That's nice. Let's get let's give you some more. So you're a 10-10. That don't impress me much. Huh? Huh? How? So you've got 10 HP and you've got 10 attack. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I think you're all right. That won't keep me warm on warm on round 11, or it might. I, I hate that we're going up against a lemon here. I'm, I'm disrespecting you by suggesting your team is exclusively consisting of a lemon, but that's the way I see it. Stop it. Stop it. Yo! Oh. 
Okay, four. Four piece. I thought that run was doing something. Get Lemon to Sun. Okay, honestly, the strong, strong team. Wow, you're starting to be bad. Bro, what is this emo next to your name? Hold on. What is this backpack? Did your, mes did your message already get deleted? Backpack. The heck is the good luck have fun pledge? Probably something related to charity, so I'm not gonna like go too far <laughs> in on it. But <laughs> is that something they make you say at um, to support inclusive gaming communities? All right, you think you're better than me? Whatever, piece of crap. <laughs> But what am I going to do? Like, okay, so like I've got the ability to buy two things instead of one. Amazing. It's a 3-1 frog and bacon for a unit that I don't even want. So no, we're going to roll. Like this is, it's like highly not relevant in the slightest. I'm, I'm tempted, but I'm, okay, and then you got to, okay. Round one is disastrous. I'll be like an evil cucumber or whatever. Round one has no chance. And that's okay. It's round one. Don't cry. You're going to be fine. Your, your points are relatively safe. I mean, it, well, it depends what you bet on. <laughs> to be honest. Maybe if I... If I Whoa! I should have bet on ten! You have my impression of you in two seconds? I should have bet on ten! Why does your t-shirt have a zipper? It's not a t-shirt. It's a zip-up polo. I was feeling myself. I, I think I wore this on Wednesday, but then I did a bunch of laundry. So I, I brought it back for the Friday stream as well. Also, it's fucking... It's cold here, man. It's like... Hold on. Let me let me check my, my weather app. I haven't been outside today, but I was outside, you know, every other day. It's 4 Celsius? That's cold, man. I mean, it's not like, you know, we're not in Narvik or whatever, but it's, it's pretty cold by Vancouver standards for November. I wore the, like two weeks ago, I was still wearing shorts. When I picked the baby up from daycare on Wednesday, I wore the same jacket I wore outside in Alaska when we were there on the cruise. Like, it, I mean, it was Alaska in July, but it, I mean, it was, still, <laughs> it was still pretty cold. Narvik is five right now, see? Oh, you live in Narvik? The most important uh, Norwegian port in the Arctic Ocean? Wow, five Celsius? Whoa, it's 20% warmer there than it is in Vancouver. People in Narvik didn't even know, they don't even know what cold weather is like, dude. It was 21C in Illinois yesterday. Honestly, I don't want to take all the credit for that. But I have been listening to a lot of Sufjan Stevens. So I think maybe I brought the heat, quite frankly. I see the wasp on the length of my arm. You know what I'm talking about? Are you saying Sufjan Stevens caused climate change? No, I'm saying he brought the heat. It is a great song. Best song? I don't know. Dude, honestly, I'm on Illinois. I'm less into, like, listen. Casimir Pulaski Day, John Wayne Gacy Jr. They're just too sad to listen to, I think. Like, you got to be in the right mindset. I'm way more into the ones that sound like um, you could have heard them on Charles Schultz's Peanut animated TV show. Like I'm into the ones that go like do 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 Days the great frontier for bringing safe the seven deer. I stand in awe of gratefulness. I can abide forgetfulness. You know, like that. 
I breathe into the mic to breathe in. <clears throat> Insane impression. I love I love it. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> you must like iron and wine then? No, I find it too sentimental, quite frankly. And I, I, I know you're probably like, make it make sense. I can't. What am I doing on this squad right here? I don't know fully, but... There's something, like, as much as I... <laughs> I'm gonna make some enemies, okay? I like the Postal Service in spite of myself. I listened to them a lot in high school. I know they got one album, and then also The Dream of Evan and Chan, okay? But I recognize when I'm listening to this, I'm like, this is embarrassing. I'll be your platform shoes, undo what heredity's done to you. You won't have to strain to look into my eyes. You know, like, that's, that is saccharin. But at least there's, like, some blips and some boops in the background that brings, I don't want to say an edge, but like some liveliness to it. Whereas, I, I don't like, Iron and Wine is like, if you're intimidated by the Postal Service, you're like, I love that, I love such great heights, but it just goes a little too hard for me. Then you get the donk -a donk 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 Like, it, I love all music. I consider myself like a, a real lover of music. I would say the most pure form of music is just a, a guy with a beard and an acoustic guitar. It's like when people are like, I don't like Snoop Dogg, but check out this bluegrass cover of Gin and Juice. She drives me crazy. Naked as we came. Anyway, long story short, I mean, I think he's very talented. <laughs> just, I'm just a hater, I suppose. I think I'm just a hater. I don't know what I'm doing here. This squad looks horrible, but it does have a level 3 ant. I don't know, man. I don't see Broccoli doing it for us. This is what I, I need. I need something that has, like, some killing power. So let's get two dolphins out there to do some work, at least. Best Postal Service song? I mean, I, I, I do think I gotta, I gotta go a little hipstery and say it's the dream of Evan and Shan. But then, like, my, the best one on Give Up, in my opinion, is The District Sleeps Alone at Night. Or Tonight, whatever. Don't Stand So Close to Me, another classic, of course. Why did that guy have a pineapple roach? I don't know, he's probably... He's bringing the walk to Poland right now. <clears throat> What's the armadillo doing? Uh, I don't know, just like being my best unit despite the fact that he hasn't been buffed at all, which is a scary thought. I bought this dude off the shelf and he's already a, like my first line center. I'm ignoring the frigate bird because I don't wish to invest in my armadillo necessarily. That you are important to me. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to buy you. We have to try to lean on this buffalo, man. I don't love any of those units. I don't think you need to go goldfish on it. Why do I have buffalo at the back? I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Good snipes. Good snipes. 613 crab. Kind of annoying with it, though. No, it doesn't matter. Get owned. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we gotta go insanely hard. You need this. You're probably gone. You're probably gone too, but I, I value the sniper this week. So let's put you here. Let's give you a beautiful buff. Let's sell you. Let's 2-2 you. Just add a moth for the, for the time being. Quick question, what gives you the ride? Great question. I don't know. I, I, I've been asking myself that a lot lately. Not really. I don't know what the insinuation is, but that's fine. You're so, you guys such lucky and lucky piece of crap. You, you, you Toms of Maine, you princes of New England. Roll me once. 
Okay, if, if that's all you're gonna give me, then that's all you're gonna give me, okay? We have to at least get the, the buffs. I am looking, ideally, I would love to get like, um, perhaps you've heard of it. That was not necessary, but also it was like a net loss of one gold. No big whoop. Ideally, I would love to get um, some lemon. Lemon on the next round might do something. Saved. Holy cow. Ideally? Sorry, I was using my Medea voice. Um, a better equipment. You could be like the last unit we buy, though. A better equipment? Hey, you're not equipment, but I like it. I don't think a level one buffalo is going to get us there. But I do appreciate the respectability that it's given this run so far. Thoughts on Andrew Bird? I like when he uh, whistles. I like when he goes... I like when he goes like that. You know what I'm saying? Half of the people watch, actually, realistically, probably like a lot more than half of the people watching are like, what is he talking about? Then like 5% of people are like, so true. That he is known for whistling. That's his thing. Sell me. Buy me. Roll me once, one time. Roll me one time. Buy me. Sell me. Is Elden Ring worth finishing? It's a question that I cannot answer because it doesn't depend on the game. It depends on your life. I understand that's extremely unhelpful. I lived. I'm still living. We can't quite make it though, so close. Like, maybe this is, um, this might be an unpopular take for the first time ever. But I feel like if you have to ask yourself if a game is worth finishing, then the answer is no. Because, I mean, it depends on the, your... F philosophically, the uh, ludonarrative dissonance is, I, what I'm trying to say, in so many words, <clears throat> is that um, I have, the, the older I've gotten, when I, when I was a teenager, I was like, games are important. So like, oh, if I want to be like part of the conversation, I got to finish this game. Now that I'm older, it's not that I think that games are unimportant, I just think that I am... I treat them as entertainment instead. And as soon as I stop being entertained, then I'm like, well, maybe it's time to play something else. Like, I, life's too short for at least the phase that I'm in in, my, in in the current stage of my life. Life is too short for me to be like, I'm 30 hours from the end of this, but I want to feel like I've accomplished it. So let's invest 30 hours in something that I'm like not enjoying. That's a lot of, that's a big bulk of like a month's leisure time. But if you are going to be like on a podcast or something, that's like, uh, we're going to talk about the end of Elden Ring, then you should probably finish it. But otherwise, I don't know. I don't think it's that, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Just don't let yourself get mired in the conversations online about, Whoa! <clears throat> Hold on. The problem is... Wait, no, this is great. Let Run this for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes way more sense. There's a part of me that thinks a one-up on you could go hard, too. Oh, just in time. Um... You know, because it's all like maybe you want to finish the game so that you feel like you can, you know, your opinion has some extra weight. I don't really buy that. I, I hate when people are like, oh, you know, oh, this reviewer gave the game a two, but they didn't even finish it. You're like, well, yeah, because maybe like, because it freaking sucked, dude. It freaking sucked the big one. 
You're right. The ant won't get buffed if it has food equipped. So, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is just don't get into arguments online in general. What am I doing? Yeah, I think it's fair to say that as you get older, um, the, the quote-unquote the conversation doesn't matter as much. You don't care about being part of... What the heck? A dove? You don't care as much about being part of the discourse. In fact, if anything, you simply fear it. I want to make sure that our frontline unit gets the buff. Now, in terms of what our frontline unit is... I mean, like a 30-30 scorpion would be kind of sick. I do wish we'd kept the gorilla when we saw it. I just... I rolled it like crazy. I don't think an orc is it, but in, in a fit of desperation, perhaps. We could have like a... I mean, honestly, to sell an ant and then have like a freaking... Oh, you're right. It can't go on a scorpion. Have like a big ass shark at the back or something like that. Let me think. Well, it's not going to be any of these. <laughs> That's for sure. We can, we can continue rolling now that I think about it. As long as we're committed to selling the ant. Huge deer appeals to me more. Yeah, let's try let's try huge deer. I mean, it's not a huge difference. It is nice to get the 2 2 buff on the buffalo too. It appeals to you more than an orca? Well, now that you've framed the question in that way, I'm starting to doubt it, but we lost. Still I'm happy for seven, considering we were at, like, uh, turn five before we got our first win. I feel like we could have done better with the Stegosaurus, though, for sure. Still 